These are the points, and this is y-intercept. You have given the point and y-intercept. Now you need to find the equation. Very simple question. Now, the point we have 2 comma 3. This, are the, this is the point. And the other point that is, you may get it from here is by using y-intercept. Y-intercept is obtained when x is equal to what? Now x is 0, y is negative 7. Now we have two points. This is x1, this is x2. This is y1, this is y2. From here, to find, you start with finding the slope. That is m. Then is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is to say negative 7 minus 3 over. Then here, x2, 0 minus 2, which now is equal to negative 10 over negative 2. Now, our slope is equal to, to 5 positive. From here, we can determine our equation. Our equation is determined by taking slope is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. Now our slope is 5. Is equal now. y is not known. y1 is 3. Then over x minus x1 is 2. Then over 1. Close multiply. Then you have y minus 3 is equal now to 5 in bracket x minus 2. Then open the bracket. y minus 3 is equal to 5x minus 10. Then this is taken to the other side. Then y is equal now to 5x, then minus 10 plus 3. Then y is equal to 5x, negative 10, positive 3, negative 7. This is an equation. Your equation must be written in forms of y is equal to mx plus c. This is our slope. As you can see, our slope now is 5. And here our slope is what? 5. So you've got to be very careful. You've been given the points and y-intercept. Now the first point is here, and the second point is obtained by thinking about y-intercept. If the other time you've been given x-intercept, x-intercept is obtained when y is equal to 0. That's how we do. There's nothing you can do. From here, you've been told find x. Find what? Find x. Now, to find x from here is very simple. Write your, your logarithm. Convert this one, change to exponential form. Now, that is to say 2x power 3 is equal to 8. Then express this one into exponential form. That you will find it is 2x power 3 is equal now to 2 power 3. Now these exponents are equal. Now if exponents are equal, also bases are equal. 2x is equal to 2. We divide it by 2, we divide it by 2. Now x is equal now to 1. Then b, that was a simplify 2 logarithm of 5. 5 logarithm log 2, 5 log 2 plus 3 log 3 minus 3 log 6. Simplify this one. To simplify here is not a problem. But all in all you have to understand all these logarithms, all these logs have got the common base. All of those are base 10. So you first you can first use logarithm laws. Laws. Now this is taken here. Then we say it is it is it. now log of 5 power 2 plus log of 2 power 5. Then plus log of 3 power 3. Then minus log of 6 power 3. Means I've taken this to here, I've taken this up to here, I've taken this up to here, I've taken this up to here. From the principle, logarithm of a power 2 is equal to 2 logarithm of a. So this is taken back here. Then from here, we can collect all of these things here. We have, this is what? Logarithm 5 
power this one? 25. Because this plus this one. Now, log e of a plus b. I mean a times b is equal to log of a plus log of b. Now the same applied to here. It is 25 times 2 power 5 is equal to what? 32. Now times 3 power 3. 20 what? 7. Then over this one because there is minus here. Over 6 times what? 6. Times 6 once again. Are you blessed? That is 6 is cubic. Then, if that is the case, we can simplify our mathematics. By 3 here, 9. By 3 here, 2. By 2 here, 1. By 2 here, 16. Then, by 2 here, by 3 here, 2. By 3 here, 3. By 3 here, 1. By 3 here, 2. Then, you 2 here, 8. U2 here 4. Then we remain with log of 25 times 4. Which is equal now to log log of what? 100. Is equal now to log of 10 power 2. Because 100 is 10 power 2. Now this 2 is taken back here. Then we have 2 logarithm of 40 of 10 to base 10. Then this will go away. Then we remain with 2. Now our answer is equal to what? 